Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ACL Full and Final, part four. Today, I'm going to debug something. And I will show you that a table where we see no ACL is still having ACLs. That is the system provided ACLs. This is the complete system of service now, okay? They have set up in such a way that there will be no security breach. You remember in part one, we have discussed this thing that if a table has no ACL, only admin will be able to see it. Otherwise, no other person, no other role will be able to see. It. So why this is happening? It is happening again because of some ACLs. So let's debug it. Let's go to the screen. Okay. So just look at this table. There is no ACL. I have deleted all the ACLs with this table, the same table, ACL demo. And here, this is the data which is there. And now I will enable the debugging. So for security rules, we will enable only security debugging. Right, debug. Go to debug security. The debugger is on. Okay, so now let us impersonate to one user. And our favorite one is one with no role that is ML tutor. Now let's come to this table. Let me reload it. As expected, you see there is nothing to see, but we are seeing the ACLs. So now let's only see the one which are related to global application, remove others. So just see here, there are n number of rules which are already applied. Even there is no ACL on this table created by me. Okay, so now if we scroll down, you will see most of the time you see this one, record, asterisk, read. Everywhere you see this one, this is at most number of time. So let me open this. Along with this, there are others also, but let's open this one first. Now let's go back to admin and impersonation, elevate role. So carefully look into this ACL. This is a read one on records and asterisk is there in the name of table. It means it is applied to all the tables. And then we have none. It means it is a table level ACL. So just see this description. To read the record of any table, you must have the following. User must have admin role or this property is allowed, which allow access to all the tables in the absence of any other security rules. So the complete setup is done by service now. They are saying and they are validating that if you do not have any role on a particular table, any ACL on a particular table, then only admin will be able to see it. And service now is going to protect that table, even though you have not applied any security rule, okay? So that's what we did here. This table has no role, but service now is protecting it. Only admin will be able to manage it. You see at the bottom, admin role is required, right? Let me open this property also. So just paste it. So this is the property, security manager default behavior in the absence of any ACL on the table. So the same is implied here, right? Right now the value is denied because it is enforcing the security. You can change it to allow and let's save it. No, system is not allowing you to change it because this is the complete setup. This is the security setup set up by service now provided by service. It always be in a denied state. So ladies and gentlemen, my motto to show this, to debug this is to show you how ServiceNow has implemented the complete ACL system for any, you know, custom table as well as for inbuilt tables, out of box tables. So this is how you have to think about your data. This is how you have to think about your tables. Okay. Whenever you are creating any ACL and then provide the best solution for it. I will come up with more such videos. I am on my way to experiment things and then show it to you. Thank you so much. Subscribe it and share it with your friends and colleagues.